Today on the workbench, we have a Nintendo Switch. We've already taken the motherboard out of the console. This was brought to us because it does not display on the TV when you place it on the dock. We've already verified that that is the case. Uh, long time ago, this system came to us for not charging. At that point in time, we, re we replaced the M92 and the USB port. But at that time, it did dock, and now it's not docking. Uh, what we're going to do is jump under the microscope and show you what the usual culprit is for that. So usually the problem with docking to a TV is going to be something to do with this chip or these filters. First thing we're going to do is see if this capacitor is short to ground. It's not. So we're going to check these filters and make sure that they're good. So everything seems okay there. I need to do a visual inspection of the port. So the port is very, very dirty. I have a feeling that if I just clean that out with compressed air, that we might resolve something. I'm gonna do that real quick. Before blowing it out, I have a uh, diode reading on the port. Shows open loop on pin eight, which does uh, make sense for not docking to the TV. I'm gonna clean this real quick. Okay, cleaning it did not resolve anything. I still have open loop on pin eight. So we're gonna replace this USB port before replacing the PI3 chip and rule out the USB port as a fault since it was so gunky on the inside. Okay, heating from underneath. Throw a little bit of flux down. And let's pull that up. Let's go ahead and clean up the old solder. no torn pads gonna Prep the installation site with leaded solder. Then we're going to reflow from underneath. I like to add a little bit more flux while it's heating. Okay, removing the heat. Boy, my uh, fume extractor is running not smooth. I sucked something up into it earlier and it did a chop, chop, chop. And I wonder if I broke a fan blade on my fume extractor. 
That would, that would suck. Right now, it's making the whole desk vibrate more than usual. You've probably seen a little bit of shake on the screen. Sorry about that. What can you do, though? You can't stop doing repairs just because you have an equipment malfunction. Okay, so we replaced the USB port. I'm gonna check the diode readings on the port again and see if anything has changed. Okay, yes. Um, see if you can see that. There's no more uh, open loop on eight or 17, which means that the communication from the USB port to the PI3 is working again. So I'm thinking if we reconnect this all, it should dock. So I'm gonna put this back together and we'll jump right to testing it. Okay, I got it mostly assembled here, so now we're going to plug in a dock and see if it docks. Alright, this cable should go to the uh, screen that's currently saying no video. Alright, we got a Nintendo dock. I got this mostly assembled. I don't have the back on, but that's okay. I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, let's see if it goes on the display. Yes. All right, it's fixed. So, uh, that's why it's important when you come in with an issue, you can't automatically jump to, oh, no docking, it's definitely the PI3 chip. Oh, the diode reader says, pin eight or pin 17 is open loop. It's definitely the PI3 chip. No, you got to do your inspection. So that's why I check all the filters in front of that chip. I check uh, the capacitor on there and everything checks out with the chip. So then we do a visual inspection of the port and the port is super dirty. Cleaning it didn't really help. Um, so we replace the port, check the diode readings again everything checks out, it's probably gonna work and as you can see, it does. If you found the information in this video helpful, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, let me know what you think down in the comments. Appreciate you watching.